I thought we would check on Fats Abbey Pro. I did mention Marissa Matthews, but she really hasn't been posting much lately. And, you know, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe she's finally learning something, you know. Um, who knows? You know, high hopes. High hopes. And as far as Fats Epic Pro, um, obviously they're still active. Um, and oh, I just want to clear some things up from the last video I posted about Life of Dima. Um, yes, I do understand um, that it can be hereditary, can be carried down. It just doesn't help that she's, that Jordan Underwood is still very morbidly obese and not taking care of herself. She's even going to a fat camp. And isn't that, isn't that a good sure way of getting fired from her community, getting shunned, getting kicked out. I, I, I thought that was against the, you know, the rules here, but um, I guess we'll find out. Hey, maybe she'll learn. Maybe, you know, who knows? People can change. That's the thing. People can change. It's just why they don't, I, I don't know. They have so much life ahead of them. So many things to explore. And it's just like, they've already given up already done already and it's it's sad it is sad but at the same time you know instead of instead of these videos where they're constantly putting other people down for wanting to be happy for living their life for being healthy for losing weight that's you're a miserable person you obviously need more help than you're letting on this isn't right this you know a lot of people have worked hard to lose weight they've gone through hell to lose weight you have no idea what that feels like and how wonderful it feels when you're finally able to do things you haven't done in years i i know this is stupid but it's something it's a little i could never cross my legs because my stomach was in the way i can actually cross my legs now. no problems you know maybe before i had to adjust some things to get them crossed but now no it's not a problem i can look straight down and see my actual crotch now. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid. It's just, it's those little things, though. It's, it makes you so happy. And it, it does lift you up. It does, you know, there, these people are also dealing with depression and anxiety. Being overweight, it, it's toxic to your whole body. Not, not just one aspect, not just your looks or, you know, it, 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 it hurts your whole body. It's toxic. Fat is toxic. I mean, there's a healthy fat, but then this is, no, th this is just not right at all. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into this. Hey friends, Fat Sapphic Bro here. My name is Siliqui Jaden. I use they, them pronouns. I am 37 years old at the time that I'm recording this video. I live in Eugene, Oregon. I am an AFAB assigned female at birth, non-binary, transgender person. Um, I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, I grow a full beard even when I am not on testosterone, but I am currently on testosterone and I have been on testosterone for about a year and a quarter or so, almost a year and a half, I think. This is just a quick intro video to my page, so welcome. Um, the biggest rule here is that this is a weight loss free page. So if you are on a weight loss journey, if you are working on intentionally losing weight, if you are planning on getting weight loss surgery, this page is just not for you. It's not for anyone, let's be honest. It's not for anyone. It's, it's te technically, you should not be posting this at all. It, it's bullshit. It is. It's, oh, come on. Don't, don't do this. Just, I just don't get it, okay? The older I get, the more I learn, right? Isn't that the way it's supposed to go? Yet these people are still stuck in the same, if anything, they're trying to make us backtrack to the Middle Ages with everything we have learned. With the technology, with this, how far, with how far we have come, it's 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 conspiracy to them. <laughs> it's one big conspiracy. It's no offense to you. I don't hate you or anything. It's just that I keep this page, um, especially weight loss free, and I try to keep most of my social media weight loss free. So if you are participating in weight loss, if you are pro weight loss, if you are on a weight loss journey, just. Don't follow me. Just scroll on. Nobody. Nobody follow this person. I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm not saying that to start anything. This is... This... 
this person is so misinformed and they are trying to spread it like wildfire. And it's awful. It's no. After everything I've gone through from losing the weight and the health issues I still deal with, hell no. Bye, and uh, continue on your life happily without me, please. Also, if it's clear that there are trolls in my comments, don't engage with them. It's not worth your time. Um, your best bet is just to tag me and also include the username of the person who is trolling. You see, the thing is they think it's some kind of fight. It's some kind of war or just something they're fighting when they've pretty much technically already lost. They've already given up, yet they claim to be fighting for what? You're already big. Isn't that what you wanted? You got it. But the only problem is you're out here promoting it as okay, as healthy as being. It's one thing if it's just you saying this. You know, that's how you personally feel. That's. That, but see, there's other things. Like, it's not just how you personally feel. Okay, let me take that back. Hold on. Because they also bring in other things that they, they try to justify why they're this way, why they continue to remain this way. And it's, it's not right. It's confusing a lot of people out there who are already dealing with depression and anxiety, and I'm sure a weight loss problem, you know, an obesity problem. It sucks. I know. I've been there. But it can get better. Your mood, everything improves. It's amazing. It's a good feeling. That's what you want. This is depressing. This is sad. This person never goes anywhere. This, it, it's, this person needs more help than they realize. And they're trying to misinform everyone because they're miserable. And I will just block them and um, not engage with them. If he's blocked me or he, whatever, I'm sorry. They've blocked me before. I've actually had some videos taken down in the past. I mean, they were put back up because I didn't break any terms. I didn't break TOS at all. But I've had them come after me plenty of times. They probably still do. I just haven't checked my email or what. If you have any questions, my inbox is always open. Please excuse my voice. I've been dealing with this for like months now. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to come back to, you know, to get my voice back, damn it, to get my voice out there. And um, my email address is in my link tree, um, as well as a bunch of other info, if you want it, is there as well. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions, if you need any support, or if you just want to say hi. Otherwise, enjoy your time here. Thanks. It's like a universe she's inviting them to. Or he, God, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. It, it, this person is confusing me because they're confused. And I'm not saying that to be mean. This person says, and there's a massive difference between changing your diet slash exercise to be healthy and trying to lose weight. Yes, exactly. And this is the problem. I talk about this all of the time. I say this all of the time, and people don't want to hear it. And they don't want to take it in, and they don't want to understand it. And it's very frustrating. Because I get a lot of troll comments about how I'm anti-exercise and anti-healthy eating. And but aren't you? I, I thought... Um, excuse me? And I'm only promoting eating junk food, and I'm promoting never exercising, and I'm like, what the hell are y'all talking about? But they all assume that because I say intentional weight loss, that that means I'm talking about healthy eating, exercise, healthy movement, etc. I'm not talking about health goals. I'm not talking about health habits. I am talking about focusing solely on a number on a scale and thinking that... But that number does help, okay? Um, a lot of people like to see that number go down, which is something obviously you don't see. But this person seems very confused about who they are, what they're talking about. The last thing you want to do is listen to any advice they give out. Getting to a certain number on a scale will equal health. And a certain number on a scale will... Okay, so no, it doesn't equal health, obviously. No. But, but it kind of goes hand in hand when you're intentionally losing weight or trying to be healthy, any of that. You know, eventually you're going to see a damn scale, whether you like it or not, at your doctor's somewhere. Or even you might get a little curious.
But come on, this nobody really cares about the scale. You're the only one making a big deal about it because it probably bothers you, no one else. Never equal health. That's not how that works. And that's what I mean when I talk about it. Well, then don't weigh yourself all the time. Don't do an Amberlynn read and weigh yourself every day and count the point twos. I mean, come on. It's, it's, there's common sense involved, which is obviously not common in this community. Intentional weight loss. When you are solely trying to alter your body mass and only focusing on what the scale says. Oh my god, I'm getting so frustrated with this person. You're the one who keeps bringing this stuff up. You're the one, this is why you will always continue to get trolled. This is ridiculous. And using that to equate a good health outcome or a good health goal. Those are not good health goals. Those are not good health outcomes. So what are good health habits and health goals that do not revolve oh, around... Oh, listen, guys. Fats Epic is going to tell us what are good health goals. Listen, listen. <laughs> around a number on a scale... I would like to be able to walk X amount of miles comfortably. I would like to be able to jog X amount of time comfortably. I would like to be able to hike this specific trail comfortably. I would like to be able to walk up the stairs comfortably. Those are all normal, good, healthy goals. I would like... But they go hand in hand with losing weight. What is wrong with you? What is... Uh, to have good lab results, so cholesterol, triglycerides, A1C. Which you have mentioned in the past that you don't. That's great. None of those things is going to be achieved if all you focus on is a number on a fucking scale. Those will be achieved, however, if you, if you change your health habits and start good health habits regardless and separate what you just said oh. from weight loss or a specific weight goal I don't think I can explain it any more simply than I have in this video thank you for this comment no you didn't explain shit that, that, oh. is there anything on the topic of chronic pain that y'all want me to talk about or are curious about. My experience with chronic pain is fibromyalgia. I have fibromyalgia too, and I get, um, what do you call it? Like, stress does trigger it, and I mean, a lot of things trigger it, but I've learned to walk, like, work through it, you know? Like, it does suck, but that's just it. Sometimes they suck, you know? You, you just keep going. Um, Unless you're fat epic, bro, you just give up, sit down, and say, fuck it, right? A herniated L5-S1. have a herniated disc, too. And osteitis pubis. I'm open to any questions y'all have, or... I have sciatica, fibromyalgia. I do have a herniated disc, which is what causes the sciatica. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, I've got a ton of issues. A ton. I'm always in pain. <laughs> I don't know a day that's not. I take ibuprofen. It usually helps for the, you know. But I mean, it, it's just you go, you go with it. Some days are bad. Some days are good. You know, I, I have more good days, though, than I have bad because I've been taking better care of myself. Like, I feel like I, I used to feel like this person all the time. Sad, depressed, in pain, hating life, and hating other people who are having a better life than me. And that's, that's really not fair to yourself or anybody else. You're only really hurting your end, yourself in the end. You know, you can't, this is not healthy for anyone. This is not healthy for anyone to listen to, even as advice or even coping as someone else who's going through it because all they're going to give you is, oh, don't do anything about it, you know, because intentional weight loss is bad and They'll just make it worse. And I do believe it was Fast Epic Bro who said the fat cushions her knees and stuff. No, it's eating it away. <laughs> oh, my God. If there's anything um, 
you want to chat about in the chronic pain world, let me know. And if you're a fellow chronic pain patient, I really hope that something eases tonight's pain. Sending you a lot of love. Eek, but I helped you so I get to violate your boundary, the manipulation, holy moly. You're totally right after that interaction. Ugh, you're totally right. After that interaction, this happened literally saying that because they don't like my clearly stated boundary, I deserve to be stalked. Like, wow, this is going to be long-winded, so get ready. I think your page is disgusting. The way you talk shit about fat people and clean, you know literally anything about health. You don't. You're a hateful, stupid little girl. Whoa. But I want to let you know I was friends with FSB. I spent hours of my time when they were upset over your videos trying to figure out your hidden account. In a friends only video that I was that was old but I saw for the first time today, I made a comment about making weight loss videos. They immediately unfriended me saying my page isn't for people trying to lose weight. It's a boundary. Wow, what a stupid boundary. Uh, I like the hidden channel. Oh well. Oh well for you, fat sack. That that's you know. Then don't publicly make shit. That's it's stupid. This is the part that I was this is the part that I was you to pay attention to FSB probably will see this too since they blocked me on TikTok. Why can't we not just support people? If I'm losing weight, support me in that. If someone else doesn't want to lose weight or have medical other medical stuff going on, just support that decision. The way you talk about fat people is disgusting. But FSB attitude is yeah, it is too. I hate everyone. Everyone is just garbage to each other and I'm fucking sick of it. Yeah. I mean, I kind of believe you, but I, yeah, not really. It's when you put stuff like this out there, you're, you're obviously not going to get a good response. That's just the way it is. Keep stalking FSB. I really don't give two fucks, but no wonder they have no friends. Beggars can't be choosers. Fucking back shit. <laughs> I think I'm going to eat myself to death by all. Oh my god. See, I don't even see it as being that important to make... I mean, yeah, some things can be frustrating to watch, but if anything, FSB is more frustrating to watch than anything. And I love the Hidden Channel. Congratulations to the Hidden Channel. Get it. Fucking get him. This is another one about the Hidden Channel. If they continue to rain public, I'll cover them. I just don't want to make another account to bypass when they private their channel. They have the hidden channel. That's still bypassing a block in order to keep an entire record of every video I post. It's stalking. You've been asked to stop. Stop. She can... They can... I, I don't know. I think the hidden channel is a chick. She can still post if she wants to. No. Nope. Just stop. That's epic. You the one should stop. Stop condoning this. Stop saying that being fat is okay. Stop promoting it. Because you are. You're not just personally talking from experience. You're purposely telling other people to fuck themselves. Because you hate your life. And yes, if you make public content, other people are going to cover it. That's the way it is. Get over it. If you don't want people to see your content, private your channel to everyone, not just a few people. Okay, not every, not everybody's going to agree with you. Okay, not, in, well, a lot of people won't agree with you because this is just insane. And people know better. You're just lazy. You don't want to do anything with your life. And it's that, it's, that's all it is. You'd rather get internet fame because that's easier to do than actually getting a damn job. You believe that the clinical definition of obesity qualifies as a disease. I just want a yes or no. Drop it in the comments. No, no, I don't because it's a choice. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, a lot of things are considered a disease. This, this, that, disease, drug addiction, and, and a lot of, you know, drug addiction, obesity, gambling, a lot of things are considered a disease because so many people deal with it and let it run for so long and it does fuck them up mentally. But 
that doesn't mean you can't change it around. Like, she's, damn it, I keep, I, sorry, they keep acting like it, it's just impossible. It's over, game over, my life's over, I might as well just stay here and die. And if you believe that clinical obesity is a disease, do you believe that it is a disability? I'm welcoming just a yes-no answer. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to give a whole uh, explanation as to why you feel that yes or no, it is a disease and or disability. I don't think that it should be considered a disability, obesity, because I feel like that'll only make people not want to get better. They won't. They'll be trapped in that body because they'll just get money to be in that body. I don't think we should condone that. And I don't think um, Social Security does either. I don't think they consider that a disease because it's also a choice and something you can actually get better. So, but this person doesn't want to. <laughs> disability. I'm just curious what folks think in general. Um, and I will do a follow-up to this once I've got some answers. I think for you personally... You're just lazy. You don't want to lose it. You can't sit here and tell me, oh, I have all these pains. I, I'm always sick. I'm on disability. I, I really can't work or do anything. And you guys don't understand. I used to say the same shit. Okay, you're, you're, you can't play the player. I used to say the same shit. You can't snow the snowman. Come on. It used to be the same way because I was miserable. I wanted other people to be miserable. I'm on to you. Oh, folks, that is a nice shot of my screen right there. That is the end of the video. Um, I'm sorry. I just couldn't do it any longer. They were driving me insane. I need a break. <laughs>